Lesson number four on base numbers. We want to look at converting to base 10 from other bases. So let's dive into an example. 1, 2, base 5 and base 10. So we convert to base 10 by expanding. So at the method 1, we do the expansion like what I highlighted in the second lesson on expansion of other bases. So I will put my place values here. It's, these are units, so it's 0, then 1. Therefore, I'll expand 1 times 5 to the power 1 plus 2 times 5 to the power 0. So this will give me 5 plus 2, which is 7 plus 10. The second method, pay attention on this uh, second method, which is called the re uh, repeated multiplication. So this also highlighted in the new general mathematics book 3. Yeah, we can we can expand this number by doing the following. Here I have my 1, 2. Therefore, I will multiply my base here, then add the next number. So you multiply the first number and add the next number. If I were to, to continue with other numbers, I will just multiply and add, multiply and add, multiply and add. So in this case, it's 1 times 5, which will give me 5. Then I'll add 2. So this 2 will drop. So the next number will drop. So the total here will be equals to 7. And there's nothing to multiply here or to add. Therefore, my answer will be 7 base 10. Let's look at a second example. 3, 2, 4, base 5 to base 10. Method 1 of expansion. These are my place values 0, 1, 2. Therefore, I expand 3 times 5 squared plus 2 times 5 to the power 1 plus 4 times 5 to the power 0. So this will be 3 times 25 since 5 squared is 25 plus 2 times 5 plus 4 times 1. So this will be 75 plus 10 plus 4, which is 89. The second method, repeated multiplication. So I will multiply the first number by the base. So I am going to multiply by 5 here and add the second. So this will give me 17. 3 times 5 is 15. Then I will add the second. Then I will multiply here. My answer here will be multiplied by the base again. So, so this will give me 85. Then I will add the next. So the total here will be 89. So you can see that this is my 89. So note here that we multiply the first number, then we drop the second number. The answer we get after adding will also multiply by the base. Then we add the next number. So all the all the following numbers will drop. Then the total will be multiplied by the base. So that's how we convert to base 10. few things to do. I want you to use both methods on this exercise 